Ah, uh, demand if I. Uh... Sure, you really want to. Well, to be honest, I was expecting an ear bashing about Sam kicking you out. Oh, everyone will think I deserved it. They'd all say that you'd got no go zone stickers plastered all over you, and I pretended I'd left my glasses at home. Oh, well, what's done is done, eh? Hey? Found you. Hello. You left your pants at ours. Eh? When you left, in a hurry, they were in with a clean washing. Oh. Right, uh, well, ta then. <laughs> Although you might want to be a bit less willy nilly about flinging your lights in with your darks. Leaves everything a little bit um, grubby. Noted. Oh, Paddy. So the builder got back to me. And? He says that you need to move out while they do the work. Today, preferably, for about um, four weeks. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I thought you said four weeks. Paddy, I did. This is rubbish. This is rubbish. How am I going to tell Chaz? The flipping baby's head will be popping out before the builders are done. They never finish on time. OK, well, maybe... Kane will have to help, won't you? Hey, who what? Making sure your darling sister's got a roof over her head when she gets back from Scotland. You know, while she's with child and vulnerable. Come again. The pub has got dry rot, yeah? So Paddy and Chaz need to move out while they fix it. What, two hours? Oh, wow, that is so lovely of you to offer up your house, isn't it, Pads? And they say kindness is dead. Kane, you, you know we're not just fishing for an offer. Yeah, it wouldn't make any difference if you were, mate. It's not a bit such a misery, Goats. Well, why can't they stay at hers? Because I'm already lumbered with this one. Oh, delightful. Oh, blimey, talk about making poor Paddy feel unwanted. So can they, Kane, please stay with you? <sighs> yeah, fine. Fine. If it saves me from getting in the neck from our chairs too. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I. And there's Bear. Hmm. Yeah, not that you want to push your luck or anything, eh, Paddy? Sorry. Actually, I don't think he'd come even if I asked him. Not on the best of terms at the moment. Oh, you're not the only one. Uh, well, maybe the pair of us can talk some sense into him. Come on. Safety in numbers, eh? Come on. Right, the undertakers are good for that day. Guess we best double check Harriet's still available and get this booked. Yeah, fine, whatever. Oh, Emmy, what are you up to today? Fancy going for lunch? I could do with a bit of a distraction from all this funeral talk. It's family stuff, isn't it? You don't want me getting in the way. Oh, you won't be, cos uh, we're pretty much done here, right? Uh, yeah, just about. Great. So I'll just finish paying for this and then uh, we can head off, yeah? Right. How are you doing? Yeah, all right. Sometimes, <laughs> when I forget for a few seconds, no, no, but... Well, I, I think you're doing amazing, both of you. All right, Ems? Yeah. Right, I'll see you later. She's not OK at all, is she? I doubt it. We should do something, the three of us. Let her know we're thinking about her. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good, mate. 